Hello everyone once again, this is Rob, and welcome back to Media Awareness and my continuing series on the Flower Kings Remixed and Remastered Catalog, or Back Catalog in this case. Before I go any further, I'd like to ask you all to please consider subscribing to my channel and becoming part of my YouTube family. I'd love to have you. Also, if you could like, share, and comment below, it would be greatly appreciated. If you're not comfortable commenting publicly in the comments section, you are more than welcome to send me a private message via the Facebook link found in the description below as well. You can also find the link to my Patreon page. Any and all support is welcome. So, it's been a few weeks since I did one of these, and I, I've been putting this off for a few reasons. Um, one, because I, I realized that I'm running out of the CDs that I have in the remastered collection, and they're not coming out fast enough. So please, Inside Out, start issuing more of these remastered Flower King CDs. Also, <laughs> um, I was going pretty steadily there week by week, and um, I have five reviews of these previous five albums up. You can check those out in my videos on my page. However, this is the sixth Flower Kings release, and it is titled The Rainmaker. This is an album that came out in 2001 initially. The Remaster came out in 2022. It features Ryan Stolt on guitar and lead vocals, Hase Fromberg on guitar and lead vocals, Thomas Bodine on keyboards, Jonas Ringel on bass guitar, and Jaime Salazar on drums. So basically the same lineup as was present on Space Revolver, the previous album. However, the Rainmaker itself is a really divisive album among Flower Kings fans. And this is, of course, the remastered edition with new artwork. I want to basically give you an overview of the packaging here, and then I will review the album itself, and then the remastering and, re and mixing. So here is the inside. You have some great photograph and some credits and then we unfold again real nice digipack format that inside out put together for us this time around as well and they've been doing a consistently good job with these reissues of the flower kings but this one i really love the pictures in here here is the actual other fold out and you got the disc in the center Really nice stuff. And then, of course, the actual back of the CD itself. Let's see here. With the track listing. This album, for me, I've always loved it. I thought it was a nice uh, change of pace, a nice diversion from the very traditional classic progressive rock feel that the band had been putting out prior to that. It's heavier in that aspect, and I don't know why. I was unable to find really any information as to why it was heavier. I'm guessing it was probably a combination of things. We On Space Revolver, we saw the addition, the addition of Jonas Ringel on bass, and that may have played a role in it. It also could have been some more influence from Hase Fromberg, because Hase's solo material is slightly heavier than the Flower Kings. It's in a similar vein, progressive-wise, just marginally heavier. And that's what this album reminds me of. The Rainmaker reminds me of Hase's solo work. And I love this album. I love the feel of it. I love the mix. The mix is great, especially on this remastered remix edition. But it's it's just it's an album that for me 
I can connect to the songs uh, very well. Lyrically, they really resonate for me. Musically, it's very exciting to listen to. There are a lot of sort of unexpected changes and movements throughout these songs. This is progressive rock, as stated. It is classic progressive rock, but like I said, this album itself is slightly heavier than what Flower Kings fans were used to when this came out. It was released in 2001, initially, as stated. And uh, I didn't obtain this album until, oh God, Four later, I, I became a Flower Kings fan officially in 2003. I purchased my first Flower Kings album. And I was very quickly, quick, very quickly, very rapidly, uh, very intensely sucked down the rabbit hole. And I couldn't get enough of Flower Kings after that. I love classic progressive rock like Yes and ELP and to me the Flower Kings were an extension of that sound and it's just it's timeless if you ask me. It's a timeless sound and this album has a very timeless feel to it even with the edgier sound. It still has that classic progressive rock sound to it. I think a lot of the fans of the previous material were more, um, they, were, they were anticipating more of a, a, a classic prog rock album, such as Stardust VR, uh, even Space Revolver itself was very classic progressive rock you know, Flower Power, those albums I previously reviewed were really in the vein of that 70s style classic progressive rock. Whereas The Rainmaker just kind of cranked everything up to 11 and it went for a much heavier sound. I think it really did the band justice as far as diversifying their sound and their audience to some degree as well. So, this is an album to check out. This is the band's sixth studio album. And I had been reviewing these albums, like I said, once a week. But they're not coming out quick enough. So, I have to scale back my reviews to once a month. Hence this delay in the Rainmaker review. Also, I realized that I had a lot more things to cover on this channel and I needed to fit those things in. Merlion Weekend came around and after that I kind of did some reflection and I thought well I'll wait a little while, I'll wait a few weeks because that'll give this time to kind of settle and we'll get one a month from here on in. And that'll give me time to obtain Paradox Hotel, the next album that I'm missing. Because I have, sitting next to me here, I have Unfold the Future, Adam and Eve, and that is it. So, I will need to get my hands on Paradox Hotel soon. And the subsequent releases as they are put out by Inside Out. Inside Out is doing a bang up job on these remixed, remastered editions. I love this new Digipack format for all these. It's not flimsy, it's very sturdy, and the sound quality on these discs are is impeccable. These are also all available on vinyl for you vinyl enthusiasts. So if you want classic progressive rock sounding music, that's not classic necessarily. Check out the Flower Cakes and check out the Rainmaker specifically. Especially if you're into like maybe even Rush. This album I think would suit you as a listener. Um, I just like it overall. But I've always liked the Flower Cakes music. So that's just me. But 
the remixing and remastering on this particular edition. That was a cat, by the way. <laughs> the, the remixing and remastering on this particular edition of the album is superb, in my humble opinion. And I think it makes everything stand out more. The uh, mix has everything really up front, everything pops, and it, it doesn't suffer from the remastering as some albums tend to do and I'll get to that when I get to those albums but for right now we are focusing on The Rainmaker and it is a spectacular album if you have not listened to it in a while I, I really urge you to pick up this limited edition remaster these are limited so to get them while you can and listen to it from beginning to end let me know your thoughts in the comment section below or in a private message in the Facebook link below as well. So, I hope you appreciate this review and I hope that it was helpful to you, the watcher, the viewer. This is Rob with Media Awareness. If you like what I do here, please consider subscribing and becoming part of my YouTube family. I'd love to have you. Also, please consider liking, sharing, and commenting. It would all be appreciated as would checking out the Patreon link in the description. I think all support is welcome. There's also the Amazon Media Awareness Wishlist where you can pick and choose items from me, unbox, review, etc. And where you can also find Paradox Hotel at the current time as I do not currently own it. But I will have it hopefully soon. Stay tuned next month in May, toward the end of May for my review of the next Flower Kings album, number seven in the Flower Kings catalog of studio albums, and that would be Unfold the Future. One of my favorite Flower Kings albums, and just by chance, my, fav my first Flower Kings purchase of all time. For now, I hope you have a wonderful morning, noon, or night, wherever you are. Take care. Bye.